What's going on, all you crazy builders out there? Welcome back to the channel. We have in our hands that just came in today, Hank Well, da, 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 of the Agora models. G1 Optimus Prime. It's right here. The big finale. Uh, it's a huge box. It looks like they had something really heavy sitting on it during shipping, as you can see. It's all smashed in. Uh, hopefully everything is okay in here. Oh boy, this is going to be quite the build. So hold on to your seats, get your popcorn, grab your favorite beverage, and let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here it is. Barely fits on the table here. Let's go ahead and cut these straps off. This is the first one I ever had that came with straps on it. All right, let's spin this around. Let's cut this little tab here. Here we go. Let's cross our fingers and hope this isn't all busted to pieces. Let's see what we got inside. Let me get all of these trays out. All right, looks like the box is empty. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. One shall stand, one shall fall. You tell him, Optimus Prime. You tell. Him. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. Here's the trays. They're absolutely cute. Look at the size of the axe. It's almost the size of my hand. Wow, that's crazy. All the pieces here. Speaker, and electronics, we got a, a battery box here. It looks like everything's okay. I don't think anything's broken, so that's good. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at the build and then we'll get started. All right, guys, as you can see here, this is what the download center looks like. So here's the download pack one, pack two, pack three, all the way till we get to pack 12. And then we have one, two, three, Four separate download assembly guides for pack 12 because this one finishes up Optimus Prime. And we have this one uh, for the large matrix that he holds in his hands, this one for the blaster, and this one for the axe. So let's go ahead and click on number 12 here and get started on the bodybuilding part. All right, so here we go into pack 12. Here's our parts for tray one. Here's our parts in tray two. And here's uh, more parts for trait to all these screws. Holy cow. Am I glad that I have the Fantic mini electric screwdriver to help me out with all this. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Here we go with trait three and trait four. All right, here we are, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we have uh, two of uh, part 146 and two of part 54. And we're going to just push this onto each end, just like this. Right here. And then on this end, uh, just like this. Okay, we need part 115, and these are going to go into that. Pay attention to the orientation of part 54. The ends are different. Uh, I think it means because these are... Uh, you know, towards one corner. So I do it like that. Okay, and going this direction, we're going to slide this uh, on this end, the end with these little tabs, and we're going to put these pieces into these little slots that are inside there, just like that. All right, so we got uh, part 91 and part 92. We're going to put these together. I think they're the same either direction. I'm going to put them together like this. This is going to go down uh, over this pin here into this hole. And then these two pieces are going to sit in these little half circle pieces here. Just like that. And we're going to screw that in with that PB 2.3 by 6 screw. I got my screwdriver all charged up. So hopefully it'll make it. All the way through this, I don't know, man. There's a lot of screws in this. We shall find out. 
All right, here we go. Let's get this first screw put in. Yeah, it's gonna look like that. All right, guys, now we got uh, two more of the one part 146, and we got part 114. And these are gonna go just over these two pins here, just like this, okay? And then this is gonna go on top, but we're gonna put a little bit of glue uh, on these pins here and here. And then uh, it's gonna go right over the top, uh, just like this, and it's gonna sandwich together. Now let's get that glue on first. I'm actually gonna put the glue into these holes. That's where it's gonna be gluing into. So I'm gonna put the glue into these two holes here instead. Let's put a little on each hole there. See if we can get this back together here, like that. Everything lined up. Push all the way down. It's gonna look just like this. All right, we're gonna keep the glue handy because we're gonna have a few things to glue here. All right, now we got part 77, 76, and 93. And we're gonna start by putting part 93. It's gonna go this way into these two holes right here, like that. Now it says to glue them, but man, that snaps in pretty tight, so I don't think that needs glue. I'm just gonna leave that without glue on it. And then this is gonna go inside here, uh, this way around. It's gonna go in, and these two holes are gonna go right over these two pins here. Just like that. And we're going to glue that, or I'm sorry, we're going to attach that down with two of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Let's go ahead and get one in. At least part of the way. We'll go ahead and get the other one going, and then we'll tighten them down. All right, it's going to look just like that. Okay, now we're going to attach these two parts together. It's going to go this way around. This is going to slot into this slot here, all right? And then we're gonna screw that in right through here and here with two more of the PB 2.3 by six screws. Gonna look just like that. Okay, now we have 55 and 56, that's these two, and one's marked with a one and one's marked with a two. We're gonna turn it this way around, the one that's marked with a two, is going to go in this slot here just like that and the one that's marked with a one is going to go in the other slot just like that and we're going to put a little bit of glue on those and glue them in a little dab like that and we're going to put that in the slot and hold it for a second put a little bit on the other side and we're going to put this one in the other side and let it sit for a second i'm going to set that to the side and let that dry Okay, now we have uh, part 116, and then this is part 129. This is the battery pack that we've been using to test all the lights. Uh, this is also going to be the battery pack that's just used in this model altogether. Uh, I'm supposed to put four batteries in it. I've already got batteries put in it here. All right, we got our cable here. We're going to run this cable out through this hole right here. So we just put that cable through that hole, and uh, I'm just going to slide the battery pack in. Like that. Okay, now we got part 140, and that's the switch. This is the on-off switch. Unwind it. All right, and we're just going to uh, attach this switch. It shows it this direction. So you have one empty pin, and then these two pins are taken by the wire. So it shows the empty pin going to the left. So that's the way we're going to put it on, and it's going to go just like this. And then we're going to screw that in with two PB 2x4 screws. Here we got two PB 2x4 screws, and we'll go ahead and screw that on. Let's get that one started and then get the other one going, and then we'll tighten them both down. All right, and that's going to be our on off switch. You can see her right there. Off, on. Nice. All right, guys, now we have uh, part 47, 75, and 113. And they're all the ones uh, marked with a two. Uh, you have very similar ones in the pack that are marked with a one. So make sure you get all the ones that are marked with a two, like that right there. Okay, now part 75 is going to go on part 113. It's going to go right over these two little studs here and here. As you can see, it's, it'll fit in the same shape. 
But I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on there. Just the smallest amount. There and here. I'm going to put that back on and push it down. All right, it's going to look just like that. Okay, and now this piece is going to go over this section here. And we're going to put it right over those two pins here and here. And then we're going to secure that down with two of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Two. And again, it's going to look just like that. Yeah, we're going to set that one aside and we're going to build the other one. And uh, this one's uh, the one's all marked with a one, as you can see right there, all marked with a one. All right, and there's the other one. It'll look just like that. All right, now we got two of these TR-171s. Yeah, two parts, uh, 171, and these are magnets. And I don't think it matters which way they go in, but we're going to put one on this side and one on this side, and we're going to put a little super glue down in there to hold them in. So. Let's see if we can get a little glue, a couple of dots in there. Get that magnet, put it in. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to set that to the side. Same thing over here. Just like that. Here's a little something to get that glue off the top. All right, set that to the side. And now we got our battery pack here. And these are going to go on either side of the battery pack. And uh, they're going to go in. You can see it's got the same shape here as that. So they're going to go in just like this. Okay, and then we're going to screw that in here and here with two of the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Okay, it's going to look just like this. Pretty nice. Okay, now we have uh, part 117 here, and then two part 167s, and these are uh, actually just metal. They're not magnetic. Now, I'm going to glue these in onto each side, just like this. There's going to go, one is going to go on this side, and one's going to go on this side, just like that. So I'm going to put a little glue on there and slide that in. I'm going to come around this side, put this one in. All right. It's going to look like that on both sides. And we're going to let that sit for a minute and let that dry. A lot of gluing on this one, guys. A lot of gluing. Okay, now, you're supposed to put this on here. But I'm going to let these fully dry uh, before we put that together like that. Okay, so we're going to set those to the side. All right, long time no see, friend. We're bringing Optimus Prime's head back out. I'm going to dust it off a little bit. I don't think it's that dusty. I just recently dusted it off, but I'm make sure he's all dust free. Can't have a dirty Optimus. All right, I'm going to put him here. We're going to work on his head a little bit. Okay, now we got part 44 right here Optimus Prime's neck. Okay, this is going to go with the skinnier end towards his face. And there's four pins on here. One, two, three, four. It's going to fit into these four holes here. And then that's going to go through the middle, just like that. And now we're going to secure it through the back with a PB 2x6 screw. Get this back the way I had it. And let's go ahead and screw that down. There we go, like that. Now up this Prime's neck. Okay, now we got part 45, and that's going to go on the back. Same way, going to go over these four pins, just like that. Just snaps on. All right, now we're going to secure that down with one PB 2x6 screw, and that's going to go right in this hole right here. Just like that. Now we got Optimus Prime's head on his neck, moves around. Sweet. All right, at this point, we're pulling parts out of just all the different trays. Uh, usually, you kind of go through one tray and then the next tray, 
every now and then there might be some screws or something, but I'm going through all the different trays at this point. So, all right, let's say we're going to be doing the speaker now. Okay, so we got part 64, 65. Uh, this is 164, this little uh, spongy with a peel off sticky side. And we got the speaker, which is 134. And then we're going to have four of the 2.3 by 6 screws. All right, so we're going to flip this over and we're going to attach this little spongy piece. I'm guessing this is to keep it from vibrating while he's talking, which is good. And that's going to go right on the end of the speaker right here. Just like that. This sticks on. All right, so we're going to run the wire through that little hole right there. And we're just going to put the speaker in this way. Okay, and then this one is going to go over the top. Sandwich it together. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to flip it over and screw it in from this side with those 2.3 by 6 screws. And make sure when you're doing this, you're not putting your fingers directly on that speaker. You don't want to break your speaker. It's going to look just like that, all sandwiched in there. Okay, guys, now we got our speaker set here. We got part 63 that we're going to be putting on. We have uh, one of the nuts. We have one of the star washers there, or the plastic lock washers. We have a PM 3x10. And uh, yeah, we're going to hook this together. Now, this is going to go like this. This is shaped, you can see there, for the nut. So we're going to put the nut in there. Fit the nut right in, just like that. That's going to go right here into this spot. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the washer on top of this screw here. I'm gonna hold this in with my finger, put the screw in, and I'm gonna screw this in with this Allen wrench. I think this is the right size. Might be a little, yeah, this is a little too small. All right, I'll go right to the right size Allen wrench here. I'm just gonna screw that on down. Just like that. That ain't going anywhere. All right, now we got 174, that's this. Uh, joint here. That's what these are joints and we're going to put that in this way with the nut looking part facing outwards And we're going to go ahead and slide that in See if we can get it pushed in there and use the end of my little needle nose here and see if I can push that all the way in Not sure exactly how far that's supposed to go, but uh, it's all the way all the way through there like that all right, get Prime's head back over here again. We got the, another 174 here. And this one's going to go through this direction. Again, we're going to push that through. And we're going to do our best to. There it goes. You just got to get it just right. And then it'll slide right in. There that is. I think the wires, okay, the wires are just supposed to run through here. Okay. So this one goes through the right side. This one goes through the left side. Like that. All right, now I got part 62. That's this piece right here. That's going to go this way. And this is going to hook over these two ends and go between the two joints here. Just got to be very careful. We don't want to puncture that speaker. I'm also going to get a screw ready because we're going to need a PB 2x6 screw. PB 2x6 screw. Uh, if I had a third hand, that would make this a little easier, but I've only got two hands. So I'm going to try to make do with being a simple two-handed person. And see if we can get this one on. I'm going to go on the other side, uh, and those flat pieces are going to go in there. And then it's going to screw right through the middle. All right, let's see if I can get this screw in there. Part of the way. That's good. It's half the battle. Part of the way is half the battle. It's as tight as that's going to get. We got all of our wires through and out, and there is his head. It will move around. Bit of a pain in the butt, but we got it. All right. Now we're going to need 119 and 118. And four of the PB 2.3 by six screws. Okay, facing this way, we're gonna take uh, number 119, and you know you got number 119 because it has a two on it right there. And facing this direction with the little hole facing towards the front, 
We're going to put that right over the top, just like that. And we're going to screw those down with the PB 2.3 by 6 screws. All right, nice and tight. Okay. So we got part 118, and we're going to put it on the left side here. All right, they're going to look just like that on both sides. All right, now we got part 72 and part 122. And uh, 72 is going to go on the front. It's going to slide right over the collar here. And it's going to go on those two front posts, or four front posts, just like that. And then this one is going to go on the back, uh, just like that. And we're going to screw those all down with six of the PB 2.3 by six screws. Maybe this camera will be a little bit better on this. I'm going to go ahead and get a screw in. We'll put one in here. And then we'll put one in here. There we go. Okay. Gonna look just like that. Hey, this guys, this is uh, fully dried now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, make sure it fits okay. Goes on just like that. And that's how you get to your batteries. Nice. All right, now we got this big metal piece here. We got this part that we assembled, assembly one. And that's going to be going on here. I'm going to go this way around. And these two pins are going to go into these two holes. Like this. And then we're going to screw it from the other side with two of the 2.3 by 6 screws. Yeah. Just like that. Real tight on there. Nice. Okay, now we're going to be putting the battery box assembly here onto this. So we're going to run the wires out through the holes here, and this one's going to go through those hole, this hole here. It's going to slide over that, and over these pegs are going to go into those holes. Just like that, and we're going to screw that in here, 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 and here, with two of the 2.3 by 6 screws. Or four, I'm sorry, four of the 2.3 by 6 screws. Right, we're going to put one in here first. It's going to be just like that. It's going to look like this from the other side. Again, this comes off magnetically. Beautiful. All right, now we have parts five and six. All right, this is part five here, and it's going to go this way, and it's going to fit over these three holes here, like this. And then we're going to tighten that down uh, from the back with three PWM 2x6 screws. And yes, that's going to be in a metal, so I'm going to put a little drop of oil on there, put it on this side. This is the 100% uh, synthetic lubricant by Liberty Oil Products. I'll leave a link to that down below if you want to check it out. But just a little bloop on each one, just like that. It's going to go back on like that and screw that in with those three screws. Okay, it's going to look like that. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and that's both of them on there. It's going to look just like that. Nice. All right, now we got 94 and 95. That's these two pieces here. And they're going to fit on these. They only go in one direction, and uh, they're going to need a little glue on them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right down inside uh, here and over here uh, so these can stick to it like that and a little on the other side put this one on this side push it down in there just like that and we'll put the other one on this side and push it down real tight it's gonna look like that nice oh, i love that black and red combination All right, we're going to set this back assembly to the side. And looks like we're going to work on the chest for a little bit. 
All right, we got part 102 and 135. This is a little LED light here, as you can see. So we're just gonna drop the light down inside here like this. I'm gonna screw that in there with two 2.3 by six screws. Get those nice and snug. I don't want to break the board or anything. All right, now we got 132, which is this wire cable here, the black and red one. All right, so we're going to plug this connector in to this LED light. Just make sure we have it the right way. Just look which side the pins are closer to and line it up. And we're going to snap that in just like that. Okay, it's going to look like this, guys. All right, now we got part 29. That's this little translucent plastic piece here, and we got part 40. And it goes on this way with the pins going into these holes like that. And then this one's going to go on top of that with these pins going into those holes. But first, we're going to put a little bit of glue uh, on these holes here and here. And we're going to line the pins up with those holes and put it in like that. Just like that, hold that for a second, let that dry. Okay, now I'm gonna put some on these pins. And we're gonna put them into the holes on the clear plastic piece now. Here and yeah, And hold that and let that dry. Set that to the side. All right, so this is 105 and 103. And then this will be uh, 104 and 106. All right, so we're going to take part 104, this this piece. It's got the little pin sticking up, and it's going to go over the, the under the bottom. Now, if you look at this closely, one side is wider than the other, which I wasn't noticing. This is wider than this. We'll put the wider side towards the bottom. So it's going to go over the, under through those pins. That fits better. And then 103 is going to go over the top of that and snap onto these pins. All right, so I'm going to put some glue on the holes like that. And then we're going to get these put onto the pins. And I'm going to hold that until that dries. All right, I'm going to let that sit now for a little bit over here. All right, now I got part 101. We're going to put that on the back of this. It's going to go over the wire like this. It's going to connect into these slots, the narrower side through here, the wider side through there. It's going to connect just like that, but I've got to put a little glue again uh, on these pins here and here. So let's go ahead and get that done. There you go. And make sure you have it lined up the right way with the thin one on the top and the thicker one on the bottom. And let's push that right into place, just like that. And I'll let that sit dry for a minute. Okay, now we got part 100, and that's going to go on the other side. We're going to put some glue on all four of the pins that are on here. All right, and the same way, thin part on the top, thicker part on the bottom. And we're going to push that on just like that. And we'll hold it together and let that dry. Look how cool that looks, huh? That's gonna look neat all lit up. I can't wait to see it. Let's turn it over this way and just let that sit and dry. All right, we're gonna bring that back over again. We got a couple more pieces going to go on here. We've got uh, two of these 99s. All right, and just looking at the pattern on here, that's gonna face towards the front. I'm sorry, that's gonna face towards the top with these two pieces here. Gonna face towards the top like that, and it's gonna go right inside just like this. Uh, but we gotta glue that down uh, just like we did on everything else. So I'm gonna put a little glue inside of this, and then we'll put it back on. Hold that on there for a second. Get that dry like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Get that on there just like that. Let that sit. All right, now we got two of these uh, part 98s here, and they're going to go on uh, these slits here and here. And uh, I believe they're both exactly the same way, but 
They have kind of a triangle shape on the piece there. It's going to fit the same shape in here. We're just going to put a little glue in there and glue that in. Just like that, and hold it. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Set that there and let it sit and dry. All right, we got two 168s here, and those are magnets. And we're going to flip this over this way, and we're going to glue those two magnets right into these two holes here. Okay, let those magnets sit and dry in there. And look like that. Look at this thing, guys. That's going to be so cool when it's lit up. How awesome is that? All right, continuing on with the chest while that dries, we uh, have a part 66. That's this uh, big chest piece here. You can see how that's going to fit down in here. And we're going to be applying some magnets into this. Uh, into the bottom down here, we have two of the uh, 172 magnets. Oh, you know what? Dang it. I messed up. This is supposed to be 168. It's these little metal pieces. And the magnets were supposed to go inside here. I think I could just switch it. I put the magnets in here. I could put the metal pieces in here. I don't think it really matters uh, which side they're on. So, yeah, kind of messed up on that. I thought that was the magnets. It doesn't say. It just says the part number, I believe. Yeah, actually, it does. It says magnets on here. I messed that up. I'm going to put the metal pieces in here and the magnets on that. And I don't think it's going to really make much of a difference. So... All right, it's going to look like that. Again, I I mixed it up. I put the magnets on this piece and the metal in there. It doesn't matter. They're going to connect together. It should be fine. And I have 166, and these pieces are metal also. Okay. And I'm going to glue these pieces right into here. going to be one here and one here. It's going to look like that. You know, you're supposed to put the matrix of leadership inside here. I'd like to let this dry a little longer. Um, I don't know, it feels pretty dry. I'll go ahead and put it in. So it goes this way around. You run the wire through, and it sits in just like that, as you can see. And then coming out of there, magnetized right in, works just fine. You can take it out, put it right back in. All right, look at that. How cool is that? The matrix of leadership. Very cool. Okay, now we got 107 here and 108. And then we have uh, four of these 123s here. Right, and these are just going to slide on on each side here. And slide on each side like that. Boom, boom, boom. Let that sit there for a second. Do the same thing on this side. There we go. This side was a little tighter, actually. All right, now we got to do a little more gluing. We got to glue these pieces in. These are uh, 89 and 90. This is going to be uh, 90, we know, because it's marked with a 2 inside. And 89 is marked with a 1 inside. We flip 108 over like this. Uh, and then we have uh, part 89, and it's going to go inside of it. And it's going to go this way around. It's going to set over these pins that are in there like this. So it looks like this from the other side, but we're going to put a little glue on those pins. So it'll stay on. Like that. Okay. And we're going to set that to the side and let that dry. And we're going to do the same thing to this side. A little glue. Okay. It should look like that with the two towards the bottom pin there. Yeah. It's going to look like that from the inside. Nice. Put those back on when we need to. Keep falling off. All right. Now it looks like we need to. So we're going to bring this chest piece back out. All right, and this is a C here, so it's going to go on this, it's going to go on this side, like this. It's going to go into these two holes, and then we're going to screw that from the other side with two PB 2.6 by 6 screws. There we go. See, that will fold in and out like that. And let's go ahead and get the other side, put these back on. Put those in this side and screw that down. 
There we go. It's going to look like that from the back and that from the front. It'll open up. Oh, these magnets. These magnets keep sticking to everything. <laughs> All right, we got to get a couple of these out. I believe these are the uh, part 147, these little plastic pieces here. Rubber, rubber pieces. And uh, they're going to go on to uh, part 73. They're going to slide right over these pins here, one on each side, just like that. And that. Okay. All right, now we got part 86. And that's going to go onto the front. Let's flip it this way. And it's going to go this way around. Uh, this whole, this, this round piece here is going to go through that hole right in there, just like that. How cool is that? Huh? And then we got part 88 right here, and we need uh, three of the PB 2.3x6 screws again. Been a little bit of time since we used some of those. Okay, so we're going to flip this over this way. This is going to go on this way around with the uh, with the detail facing outwards towards the, or inwards towards those holes. It's going to go right over the pin there, and we're going to screw that in with these three uh, screws here, here, and here. Okay, it's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we got uh, part 53 and part 87 and two of, uh, of the 2.3 by six screws. And it's gonna go this way. I'm gonna put part 53 on first. It's got a little slit here. It looks like the little, it's like it's looking at you. A little mouth. Uh, that's gonna go on uh, with that little tab going in there, just like that. Okay, and then this one, it's going to go this way with the with this part facing down and it's going to slide right into those two holes just like that and then we're going to flip it over and screw that down with the two pv 2.3 by six screws there we go it's going to look just like that now okay now we got uh part 121 and 120 right here and they're going to go this way, this is number two, and it's going to go on this left side. So we're going to put it on and work it over that rubber sleeve that we put on there, like that. And then we got this one that's marked with a one, and it's going to go on the other sleeve and work it on there. I'm going to try putting the sleeve inside here first. Now this one just don't want to go in for some reason. I haven't used a little bit of oil on it. There we go. Put it in there first, and then we can put it over the pin. That worked. Yeah. You can't get it on there. Just put the little rubber sleeve inside this first, and then put it over the pin. I got it to go on better. There we go. It looked like that. Yeah, we got our chest piece out again here. And uh, these two are going to go over these two pins, just like that. And I'm going to secure this down with two uh, PB 2 by 4 screws. There. But anyways, guys, it's gonna look like that. All right, guys, I've let this sit for a little bit. The chest is now complete. This piece opens up like that. And these open up. Uh, very, very, very freaking cool. Look at that. And again, this comes out. Uh, it's magnetized, so it just snaps in like that. It doesn't fall out. There it is, man. That is the chest. Complete. Very cool. All right, now we're going to go on to uh, attaching the left arm and chest. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring the left arm out here. I'm going to set it to the side for a minute, maybe over here. Okay, guys, we got uh, part 59 and two part 150s. We're going to take one of these uh, this way with the flat side facing out, and we're going to press it in just like that and we're going to do the same thing on the other side these are joints by the way anytime you see these bolt looking pieces these are joints they actually turn and i'm going to put this one on the other side and all the way down in there so like that now we're going to take our left arm here and it's going to go over just like this and we're going to screw this in on the inside here right there with four pm three by six screws and four of the plastic star lock washers all right we're going to go ahead and screw that in now with those pm three by six screws all right so you can get this thing screwed down yeah 
it's nice and tight on there. You know, we got 67 and 68. That's these two pieces here. And they're going to go on just like this. They have three pins in each side. If you can see inside there, there are three pins in there. There you go. And they're going to correlate with the three holes on this piece here. Just like that. And just like that. Okay. We're going to glue those on. We're going to put a little glue on those pins and then we're going to push them on. Yeah, we're going to push that on there. Just like that. And okay, we'll let that sit and dry. It's going to look just like that. All right, now we got part 58, which is this piece right here. And it's uh, marked with a two. And that's going to go on the bottom here. It's going to go over this, uh, the little nut end here. It's going to fit right into this indention right there. Just like that. And we're going to set that to the side. All right, now we're going to bring the left and right chest pieces in. We haven't seen these in a long time, huh? Okay, now we need uh, part 147. That's the little rubber grommet things again. Get four of those out. And those are going to go on. Uh, these pins here on all four of them, two on each one here. There's one. There's two. Just like that. I'm going to put two on the other side. Okay. Just like that. All right. Now we're going to take this uh, left side piece and we're going to be putting that on these wires out of the way here. Okay. And the, this end right here is going to go down onto this piece here. If we can get that in, go this way with it. Okay. It's going to go on just like that. And this piece, of course, is going here. All right, and now we have piece uh, 57 right here, and it's marked with a one right there. And that's going to be going on. That's going to go over the top. Let's sandwich this together. It's going to get in there at the same time, just like that. Nice. All right, now we need three of the uh, PM 3x10 screws and three of the washers. Let's put the washers on the screws. Okay, and we need three of the nuts. All right, the nuts are going to go underneath. we got three that's going on, one here, one here, and one on this side. And then the screws are going to go through this side. We're going to screw those in. We're going to start with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and put the nut in. Let's get the screw started. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and tighten this thing down. All right, we'll snug it down better uh, in a minute, but let's get all these going first. All right, it's going to look like that. Nice. All right, we're going to put this one to the side, and we're going to grab the other arm. Okay. All right, we're going to do the same thing uh, on this other arm here. All right, and there's the right arm now. We have the left and right arm done. Okay, now we're going to label the uh, components here, the wires. I'm going to start with the head. Okay, the largest plug here, that goes to the mouth. So that's going to be marked number one. So let's get the number one label here. Okay, and we're just going to put it right and bend this around. Here we go. That's number one. Number three is going to be the eyes. It's this one here. You just want to trace it. This one goes up into the head. So this is the eyes here. Let's get the number three sticker. That's going to go on here. Bend this around. Here we go. That's number three. That's the eyes. So this other one is the speaker, and the speaker is going to be marked number four. All right. Get those labeled. One, two, three, and, or one, three, and four. Okay, number two is going to be the matrix of leadership, and uh, we have that right here. So we're going to go ahead and label that with number two. There we go. There's number two. The matrix of leadership. Okay. All right. Let's get the back over here. Okay. So we're going to have 11 and 12 over here. 
this one coming out of the top hole here that's going to be labeled 11. All right. And then the other one here is going to be labeled 12. All right. You got that one labeled 12. Okay. Now we got the left chest window here. And we're going to label these. And these are going to be labeled 7 and 8. And it can go on either cable. It doesn't matter. Here's seven, and here is eight. All right, all right, let's get the right arm. And this one's gonna be labeled nine and 10. Again, it can go on either cable, it doesn't really matter. Okay, all right, now we got part number 60 here, and four PB 2.6 by eight screws. And we're gonna be putting this on the underneath of the arm. Uh, this is going to be facing away from the window. So it's going to be going on these four pins here. Just like this. I'm going to screw that down with those four screws. All right, let's see if we can get these screws put in here. All right. Yeah, we're going to bring the other arm over. And we're going to put it on the other side. Just like that. And we're going to screw that in with four more of those same screws. Let's see if I can get him on his elbows here, like that. There we go. Now we're going to attach the back on. And the wires are going to go inside here. These pins are going to go inside here and here, just like that. All right, now we got two more of the three by six screws and two more of the washers. I'm just holding this so it doesn't fall over. It wants to fall backwards. I'm going to put something under that. There we go. Okay, yeah, now I'm going to put these screws on these washers, or the washers on the screws, and we're going to fasten these in from the top. There we want. Let's get the other one in. Okay. Got those on there now. All right, we're gonna open the chest piece back up again like this. I'm gonna lean this back just like that. And we need four PWM two by six screws. Okay. All right, now we got two going in here. We got one here and one over here on this side. See if we can maybe see better on the other camera. All right, right here. One here and one over here. Let me go back and see if we can get this one in. See if I can look underneath. Okay, they're going here and on this side. So there's one right here. No, you can't see it. There's not enough light in there. And then one over on this side. And I'm going to hold this up like this in my hand because I don't want to sit it on the back. Let's see if I can get this screw in there. Get that one. See if I can get the one on the other side. I'm back to this position. I'm going to tighten these the rest of the way down. There we go. Looking like that. I'm going to spin this back around this way. All right, I got two of these number 69s here and three of the PB 2.6 by 8 screws. All right, these are going to go on the underneath. Uh, they're going to go here. There's three pins here. One, two, three and three pins on this side. It's a little tricky because I don't want to set this on like the stacks or anything or break anything. So I'm just going to put this over just like that and then screw that in with three of these screws. Yeah, there we go. And now we're going to do this side here. Okay, got those all in. They're going to look just like that. Oh my gosh, this thing's so freaking huge, man. Okay, now we got uh, part three and part two. And then we got two of these part 50s here and here. All right, and we got four of the PB two by four screws. And these are just going to go in here like this, one on each side, and we're going to screw them in from this side over here. Right, it's going to look like that. 
I'm going to do this other one here now. Okay, and there's the other one. All right, now we have four of the 2.3 by 6 screws, and we're going to be screwing these on underneath again. There's really no easy way to do this. Uh, this one's going to go this way. It's going to sit in just like that. And then we're going to screw it in right here and here with those PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to put the other one on this other side right here. Just like that. And we're going to screw that one in. All right. It's going to look just like that. All right, guys, I'm going to set this arm and chest assembly to the side, and we're going to bring the rest of the body over. Holy cow, guys, this thing's incredibly heavy. What I need to do is see if I can sit him down. Let's see if I can bend this forwards. There we go. Got him sitting. <laughs> My stickers here, we got a number of these wires now. All right, we got five and six. I think this is the left one and this is the right one. I hope that's right. Hard to tell though. Then we're going to label these five and six. So five is going to go on the left foot connector, and I believe that's what this is. So let's label this one five. Okay, and we're going to label the other one six. There we go. Now we are going to attach the top to the bottom here. I think in this sitting position is going to be the easiest way to do this. I'm going to pass these cables through like this. As we sit this on, make sure all the cables are up and out of the way. It's going to sit on like that. All of these are out of the way. Sure none of them are pinched underneath it. Okay, now we got the uh, PB 2.6 by 8 screws. We got six of them. We're going to start tightening this down. We've got three screws on one side and three screws on this side. Okay. We got the torso on the body now. All right, the head is going to screw down in here, but we're going to just sit it here for now because uh, we got to do some wiring. We're going to get this open all the way up like this, and we'll come back. This is stage one of putting the head on, but we'll come back to it. We're going to skip that and go to the uh, plugging the wires and things in. I really don't want to move him right now because he's extremely heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the board in for the case here. All right, let's get the circuit board out of the packaging here. Okay, now it's going to go in. It's going to go in this way with this pointing towards the opening there. Just like that. So we have all of our connections here and these. And then we're going to screw that down uh, with four of PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Okay. Now we're going to put the back on top of it, just like that. And we're going to screw that in with four PB 2.3 by 6 screws. All right, we got that all put together there. Okay, we're gonna hold this here and we're gonna start connecting all the wires. As you can see, they're all numbered on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we're just gonna connect the corresponding wires that we already labeled up uh, to the corresponding socket there. All right, so we got five and six here. Those are gonna go here and here. Make sure they're seated all the way down. Right here we've got uh, eight and seven. Here we go. All right, now we got nine and 10. Now we're gonna put 11 and 12 in. Okay, let's plug the cables into the head. We've got one, three, and four. All right, now we got the matrix here and the matrix is Number two. All right, now we gotta get all of these pushed back in here. All right, so we got two 2.3 by six and four 2.6 by six. That's what we're screwing this down with. 
Okay, the two point three by six, and it's hard to see, let me move his head forward, are gonna be right here and here. And then the other ones are gonna go in the side. So let's get these smaller ones put in first here. Let's get these screwed in, and two on each side. Screwdriver's starting to tire out a little bit. All right, now let's get this put back in here. There we go. Let's get that screwed down. All right. Okay, now I have uh, 51 and 52 right here, and they're marked with a one and a two underneath there. Yeah, these are gonna go this way, and they're gonna get glued in. There's a uh, Four little slots here, and these four slots I'm gonna fit into those slots right there. I'm gonna put a little glue on them first and then push them in. Okay, it's gonna go this way around with this facing up. Let's go ahead and get that put in. Set it nice and snug and just let that sit and dry. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Let that dry. Okay, so we got part one right here. This is going to be the collar going over his head. And two of these little metal pieces are 166. I'm going to glue them in here and here. All right, I'm just going to put a little smidge of glue on these just a little bit. Okay, use these tweezers and I'm going to put that right in there like that and just push it down nice and firmly. Do the same thing on this side. Push that down on there nice and firmly. And we're going to let that sit for a little bit. All right, guys, now we're going to put this over the head. We're going to turn it this direction so that we can get it over his head like that. And then we'll spin it. And we're going to sit it down just like that. And we're going to secure that here, 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 and here with four PB 2.6 by 6 screws. Yes. There we go. It's going to look just like that. All right, we got uh, 42 and 43. That's these two here. And we have 49 and 48. That is these vents. We're going to be putting those into these. It's going to go in just like this uh, over these three pins right here. But I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on there and then glue that down. All right. Get that on just like that. I'm going to let that sit and dry, and we're going to do the same thing to this one. Get this one on. There we go. Now we'll let that dry. All right, now these are going to go right on top of the shoulders. All right, this one's going to go on this side, and we got the three pins. It's just going to snap right down in there like that, uh, but I'm going to put a little glue on. There we go. Let's get that one back on there and push it in. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, let's get this one pushed on. There we go. All right, now we got part 41 here, and it's going to go on the back collar here. And go on just like that. And there's four holes. And uh, these four things here. So we're going to put a little glue. I'm going to put the glue in the holes. Otherwise, I'm going to probably get it all over the damn place. So let's put the glue right into the holes. Now we're going to get the collar back on into place and get it pushed in just like that. Now let that sit and that should dry. All right, guys. And that is the Optimus. Prime himself completed. Now I just have to make the weapons. I'm going to put him over on the shelf. Holy cow. I got to get him bent back into position here. All right, guys, we are going to now build the matrix of leadership. Uh, I can't wait to show you 
Optimus Prime all done. Uh, he looks amazing. But I want to get his weapons done first, so let's get those knocked out real quick. All right, right off the bat, we're going to need part 142 and part 141. And 141 is going to go on this side. Uh, make sure we have it going the right way and just slide it in. And here we go. It's going to look just like that. All right, now we got part 24. And we're going to flip it over this way. Uh, this one's already got uh, the link power connections here. Uh, but this piece is going to go uh, inside here. Okay, this connection here is going to plug into the other side. Just like that. And now we're going to squeeze this down in here. It's going to sit in just like that. And then this one is going to swing around and go into this hole right here. Like that. And now we have this piece here. This is part 30. And it's uh, very floppy. And we're going to have one of these pins here. All right. This is going to go onto this one. It's going to go, it's going to go like this. And then we're going to insert this pin uh, through. Just like that. And I'm going to squeeze that in. See if I can get it with these. Okay, just like that. Now that's secure in there like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And now we got part 25. We'll flip this back over. We get this stuff back in here again. Keeps falling out because, well, there's nothing holding it yet. And then back in. Okay, I feel like we're going to be holding a bunch of stuff down. With this next piece here this is going to go over. Pins are going to go in here and here. Hmm, I think I found it good. All right, that's uh, tricky getting everything into the right place there. But we finally did get it. You got to get uh, these wires have to run through a little hole here. These wires have to run through this hole. Uh, this plate's got to be centered right. And then you got to get all the pins pushed into the right place. Uh, and finally, uh, I believe we do have everything pushed in the right way. Okay, now I'm going to screw that in this way. Flip it over and screw that in with the uh, three PB 2x6 screws. It's going to look just like that. All right, you're supposed to install three batteries, AG7, LR57. Uh, I didn't know about those batteries. Right, these are AG7. We're going to have these. Okay, let's get these put in. This side's positive, this side's negative. There's one, two, and there's three. All right, right here we have part 38 and two PB 2x6 screws. We're going to go ahead and put this over the batteries like this and screw that down. There we go. Look at that. Woof. Cool. Here we got three of these uh, 168s. These are not the magnets. These are the ones that are just the metal. And we're going to be putting that into these holes and we're going to glue those in. So let's get our glue out. And I'm just going to use tweezers. Okay, let's set that to the side and let that dry. And while that one's drying, let's get uh, uh, part 28 here. And it's going to go over the top. Uh, got four little pins, and they're going to go into the holes, corresponding holes like that. But I'm going to uh, glue that on. Now let's put this back on. Push it all the way down. Let that dry. All right, look at this cool, big, beautiful, cool thing, all sparkly. That's going to be going on here. Uh, we're going to put the... Uh, Magnets in on this side, I believe. And we got some 170s. And we need three of these. All right, guys. Now we're going to put some glue in these holes and put the magnets down in there. Now we need 
need to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to put the other one on the other side. Let that dry. Yeah, this one's going to go on this side. It's going to fit the little things in, and it should just magnetize right on, just like that. Oh, look at that. That's cool looking. There we go. Yeah, this one goes on the other side. All right, I believe this is 27 here. All right, so this pin goes in this hole, and this pin is going to go in this hole. There we go, like that. Okay, now we got uh, 26. That's this one. Okay, and it's going to do the same. This one's going to go into this hole, and then this pin is going to go into this hole. So let's get that lined up like that. All right, just like that. All right, now we got 96. This one right here. And this is going to go over this, uh, this direction. And it's going to fit over these two pins in there. There and there, just like that. And we're going to glue that on. So let's go ahead and put a little glue on it. All right, let's go ahead and put that on. Just like that. Let that dry. All right, now we got 97, this one right here. And this around like this. It's going to go into this little uh, line right here, this little dimple. It's going to go on just like that, but we're going to glue that on there. It's looking like this. All right, now we got 27 again. We're going to come around to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing over here. There you go. Let that start drying. Need a couple of PB 2.3 by 6 screws. And this is uh, part 1159 from pack 11. And we're going to flip this over this way. So this is going to go under here, just like that, on these two pins. Okay, and we're going to secure those with the two PB 2.3 by 6 screws. go all right now we got uh, part 58 here and it's also marked with a three this one was marked with a four pins are going to go into these three holes right here uh, these four holes i mean we're going to add a little glue to those put that right over those and push it Wrap them down nice and good like that firm okay it'll look like this we'll probably put a little glue on that all right, let's flip it over and let's hit the other side here. All right, it'll look like that. Holy cow. All right, guys, that is the matrix of leadership complete. That's where Optimus Prime will hold on to it and hold it open like that. The matrix of leadership is an artifact of great power that can be stretched, held aloft, and restored to its original form. It is known to convey increased physical power upon its holders. Shh. I guess you gotta like pop the thing off to turn the switch on. Let's take this side off. There we go. Let's turn it on. There we go. Look at that. It opens it. Super cool, man. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Now I got to turn the switch back off so the batteries don't die. There you go. So you just open it. It's got the little push switch there. And you just put it back in. Again, this is just held in with the the battery, or the uh, magnets. And then it's got these three pins. You line those pins up and then just flick it in and the magnets hold it. Nice and tight. All right. And so that is the... The matrix of leadership completed right there. All right, let's move on to the next one.
Okay, so I plugged all these into this circuit board here. We have our AA battery pack. Uh, it plugs into this one. Uh, we have two of these switches here. One's longer and one's shorter. This is the longer one. It plugs into this bottom one. And then the, the cord that we ran through here plugs into that top one right there. All right, now we got part 61 here. And we got two PV 2.3 by 6 screws. And we're going to put this in. Uh, this little board is going to go this way onto these two pins here and here. I'm going to screw that down with those two screws. All right, so these two are going to route around this pin here, underneath here, and then this is going to go uh, into this, just like that. And this one is coming around that way as well, and it's just going to run out the top for now, just like that. All right, now we got 124 and 125. And 125 is going to go right inside here, that little slot. We've got to put a little glue in there first. Going to push it all the way down. All right, it's going to look like that. All right, now we've got 16 and 15, these two pieces, and they're going to go together just like this. Right, you got to put a little glue there, glue them together. Just like that. Let those dry a little bit. All right, this piece that we just built, put the little red piece inside. That's going to go in here. going to fit right in this part right here. Like that. Okay. And then this piece here that looks like a magazine. I'm going to go this way. And it's going to slide right over the top of that. Just like that. So that'll be the button to turn it on and off. See? Boop. All right, now we got 12 and we have 19. And we're going to be... Sliding this together, right. so this battery compartment is going to go like this and sit in here, somewhere in here like this. And this piece is going to go here, like that, and this piece is going to go over the top of it. Like that. And now I need four PV 2.3 by 6 screws. Here we go. Open it up, get the battery box out, put batteries in, put the battery box back in, and close it back up. All right, now we got 18 and we got 17. One is going to go on top. 17 is going to go on top of 8, or 18 is going to go on top of 17. we got two pins that are just going to push in like that. Doesn't say anything about glue. And this piece is going to go just like that. It'll look like that. And then we need two more PB 2.3 by 6 screws. Hey, this piece is going to go on just like this. And we're going to screw that in here. Uh, in the top, here and here, with those two PV 2.3 by 6 screws. All right, it'll look like that. I need two 2.3 by 6 and uh, two 2.3 by 8. All right, we're going to push this on now, just like this. I'm going to go right over those two holes with these two holes over these two small holes. So that direction, just like that. And then we're going to put the two 2.3 by 6 screws on the sides and then the two 2.3 by 8 screws in the bottom. So let's go ahead and get the 2.3 by 6 screw put in. All right. And we're going to put the 2.3 by 8 screws in on the bottom. All right, there we go. It'll look like that. All right, now we got 67, 68, and 62. And 62 is going to fit in this little groove right here, this little green piece, just like that. Okay. 68 is going to go inside of 62. Uh, this is going to go, this piece here is going to go over this stud on the inside right there. And this one's going to go over that. Okay, and we're going to put the 
through right through there. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna look like that. All right, so we got uh, 71, 72, another 169. We're gonna put this piece right over here. It's gonna fit on just like this over these tabs, and we're gonna screw that in with a P 2.3 by 6 screw. Like that. All right, now we're gonna put a little glue in there, and we're gonna glue this one in. It'll look like that. All right, now we got 65, and it's going to be going uh, in here. It's going to be going over these two pegs, just like this, that, and then these two here and here. Okay. And then we're going to run the wire through that, and the light is going to sit nicely right in here. It's like that. It's flat on two sides. And we're going to do it like that, run the wire through this, okay, just like that. Okay, now we got part 66. And that's going to go over the top of these like this. And then we're going to screw that in with four PB 2.3 by 6 screws. All right. And this piece is going to go, uh, the little stud on the side of this is going to go right into the hole right here, just like that. All right. Now we got uh, 69 here and two 2.3 by 6 screws. So if this back up. Okay, this is going to go over the other pin and over the light and try to get everything lined up here like that. Okay. And now we're going to screw this in here and here with those two screws. Here we go. All right. Now we're going to put this piece on just like this, uh, but we're going to have to put some glue on here to uh, glue it on properly. Okay, let's get this put on and snap down. There we go. It's gonna look like that. This piece opens up and shuts. Pretty cool. All right, now we got uh, part 70, and we're gonna put a TR173, which I believe is the magnet. All right, and we're gonna glue that in right here. There you go, let that dry. Okay, now we got uh, part 22 here and two more of those magnets. So I'm going to need a little glue on the end and a little glue here. And we'll going to set that and let it dry. All right, we're going to take this one now and it's going to go inside here. Let's open this up. And we got four tabs here that's going to go into the matching slots inside here. We just got to snap that down in there just like that. Just snaps all the way in, and then that will, you know, it's supposed to magnetically hold this, but you know, it's it stays down pretty tight, anyways. Okay, now we're going to connect A and B here together and we'll push the wire back in there and in here. Okay, it's going to go in like this, but I need to apply a little glue to it. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's get this pushed together. I'll hold that together like that and let that dry. All right, it's going to look just like this here, guys. Pretty cool. All right, I need another metal 169. It's going to go right down in there. Put a little bit of glue in there. Okay. All right, let that dry for a minute. All right, now we got six TR-29s and six TR-30s. And we're going to connect those together by gluing them together just like this. Like that. And just let that sit for a minute. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to have to glue that together. Put a little glue on here. Let's see if I can just get these put in all at once. Maybe that'll help hold them together. There we go. Like that. Like that, that's pretty cool. Look at Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do the other side. All right, it's gonna look like that. Super cool. Put this back on. Snaps on just like that. Awesome. All right, 
Now we got uh, two 128s, and those are gonna go on uh, right underneath. They're gonna go in just like this. I gotta put a little glue in there. Put a little glue in this little canal here, and put this one inside there. Push it in, hold it there for a second. Yeah, right. get a little bit to go on the other side. Let that sit there. All right, I got two more of these 173s. These are the magnets. We're gluing these in. One's going to go on either side, one here and one here. So let's get a little glue in there. Okay, flip that over. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, all right. Now I got uh, 13 and 14 here. We're going to put these little hinges on them. These are uh, 127, two of them. I'm just going to go on like that. They just sit on there. They don't snap on or anything. All right. Well, the important thing is we're going to glue two of the uh, metal, these little metal, 169. Now we're going to glue glue them inside there. Let's see if I can get just a little glue right in the, right in there like that. Same thing on this one. Put that piece of metal in there. Okay. Do the same thing on the other one here. All right. Just like that. Okay. Let's put the little hinge on. Uh, this one's going to go on this side. This one's the one marked with a one, and it's going to go on the left side of the gun. And we just need to uh, get this in there. So I just I need to put a little bit of glue down in there. And with this on here, I need to push it down in just like that. So let's sit for a minute and let that dry. Yeah, we gotta do the same thing on the other side. Let both of those dry. Anyways, it's gonna look just like this. How cool. Freaking, this thing's huge, man. Look how big this gun is. It's like the size of my arm. It's massive. It's crazy. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a minute, let that glue dry. All right, now we got 20 and 21, and they're gonna be going into the, uh, the butt of the gun here, just like this. So I'm just gonna put some glue all over here. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there and click it in. Click that down in there like that. Nice. And I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. That looks nice, huh? Look at that. It's crazy how big this is. It's like the size of a large pistol. All right, now we got 126. And this is going to go on uh, right here. And we're going to glue that same way. Yeah, let that dry. Yeah, it covers the screw holes. How nice that looks. Now it looks like the other side, see? All right, now we got 64 and 60. Yeah, this is going to go inside like that. It's going to go on here like this. But we need to put a little glue on it. All right, I'm going to put a little glue around the outside edge here. Let that dry. Here we got a couple AAA batteries here. Let's go ahead and get those put in here. And uh, take a look at how this gun is going to look. Let's open the back. Just like that, we're going to pull the battery compartment out. There we go. Put these batteries in. Close the door back up. All right, let's see how it looks. Check the hat out. That's cool. Okay, so it has high, low, and then off. So yeah, you just push this and you get your light. Cool, 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 man. Look at this thing. How cool is that? It opens up, closes down, these open. Like this. Out neat, man. That's freaking cool as hell. This comes off too. All right, super cool. All right, let's move on to the X. All right, guys, let's get this Energen Axe built now. We've got part uh, 137, the little circuit board here. Uh, we have part 82, 
We have part 136 and 133, the shorter of these switches. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. We're going to start with the, uh, the long one here. Uh, I believe this is a, a light. 136 is going to go in this far one here on the left. So let's go ahead and get that one plugged in. There we go, just like that. And then we're going to put the switch right next to it. There we go. And part 82 is going to go in this uh, plug right here. All right, it's going to look just like this. All right, now we got part 174, another one of these joints. And we have part 10, this uh, little black piece here. And it's going to go with the uh, bolt side in. And we're going to push it through this side with the large opening. Okay. We're going to push it all the way in. You know, we got part nine and part seven. And part seven is going to go in. We have uh, these four pins. And those are going to go into the holes right here at the top. There and there. Just slide them into those holes, just like that. Okay, now we're going to take this piece, and it's going to go in. It should go in the collar and sit down into these two spots here on the side, but it's not far enough in. I, I didn't think it was. This has got to go in farther. So let's see if I can use my pliers and just you know, get that to go in a little bit further. There it went. So that really needs to sit all the way down in there. Okay, let's try this again, see if it fits. There we go, now it fits it. And then we're going to screw that down with two PB 2x6 two screws. Okay, it's going to look just like that. All right, now we got part eight and four of the PB 2.3x6 screws. Okay. We're going to put this over, uh, it only goes on one way. You just got to fit all the pins together. Like that. And then we're going to screw that together with those four screws. All right, it's going to look just like this. Okay, guys, now we got part 83, part 84, and two 2.3 by 6 screws. All right, and we're going to put part 83 inside of part 84 here. It's going to go this way with this part facing towards the bottom. And it's going to just slide right in like that. And we're going to screw that down in there with those two screws. There we go. It's going to look like that. All right, let's get our circuit board back over here. Okay, the circuit board is going to go over these two pegs on the inside here, just like this. And we're going to screw that down with those two screws. Okay, there we go, just like that. Okay, now we got this light wire here. And we're just going to run it down, uh, tuck the cable down inside here. Okay, and then we're going to get the light is going to sit inside this little trough right there, and the cable is going to run on the outside of it. So you need the light to run through that little trough in the middle, and then the wire on the outside. It's a little bit tricky. I think it can be done. And then we got to get the rest of the wires running down along the side here, I'm trying to pull the excess down at the bottom, because uh, it can just tuck away down inside. Okay, now we need the, the PWB. Two by six screws, we need two of those. All right, and we're gonna put the, the switch in. The switch goes right here. Yeah, the switch goes right here, and we're gonna tighten that down with those two PWB two by six screws. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put this piece on, closing this up like this. And we're gonna screw that in with two PB 2.3 by six screws. There we go. It's gonna look like that. Okay, now we got the other side of the axe. This is part 85, and we have this little switch button here. This is part 79. Okay, we're gonna set the little switch right on top of the button there. Okay, now we're supposed to glue this on. Let's put glue on the different pins. Here, we're supposed to put glue on these holes here on the this side of the axe. 
And then we have to fit it all together, making sure we get these wires tucked down in there properly, uh, which is going to be the tricky part uh, without knocking that light out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on all the spots. All right, I think that's all of them. Okay, now we're going to put this on top and press it together. All right, that actually went together easier than I thought it would. Wow, that was, um, that wasn't that bad. I was, uh, really expecting a terrible mess trying to get that together. It actually went together fairly easily. And this thing's the size of a, a real little hatchet. <laughs> it's crazy how big this stuff is. Okay, set that down there. And now I need a uh, one PB 2.3 by six screw, and it's gonna go right here. All right, I think that's all the way down. Okay, it's gonna look like this, guys. All right, guys, now we got these four round magnets here, 168, and we're gonna glue these into these four recesses here and here. Okay, I'm gonna let that glue dry. All right, now we need uh, three more little batteries. Right, these are LR44 or AG13. I do have some AG13. I wish they would have made these all the same batteries, but I fortunately have a lot of different watch batteries, uh, but if you don't, you're gonna be kind of out of luck, so. Like I said, I wish all these batteries were the same. Everything has a different kind of battery in it, which is a little weird, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. All right, let's get these uh, out. I need uh, three of them. So if you haven't built your model yet, make sure you get to the store because you're gonna need uh, some batteries. So go over the uh, list there. Uh, these are LR44 or AG13s, and uh, the other one needs AG7s or LR57s. So uh, write that down if you haven't looked over the directions and make sure you pick those batteries up uh, before you build this because uh, you have to take this back apart to get to the batteries. All right, so let's go ahead and get these put in. Let me look in there and see which side is plus and which side's negative. All right, positive is on the bottom and negative is on the top. Let's get these put in the right way. There we go. With the light, make sure it works. Check that out. Oh, flashes. So you get solid, you get a flash, and then off. All right, we need two more PB 2.3 by six screws here. And we're gonna put the battery cover on right there. I kind of wish these battery covers just, you know, snapped on instead of screwing down. Okay. And now we got part 81, the other half of the ball there. And we're going to put in the four 172s, the little metal pieces. Yeah, I dropped one of these on the floor and they don't give you any extras. So I got to see if I can find it. Great. I wish they would just give you one extra of these. That would be nice. Yeah, I'll put a little glue inside here. I'm going to get these three in and then see if I can find that other one. I have no idea where it went. Hey guys, kind of like that. Okay, now we're going to take this cover and put it on there and see how it works. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Forgot to put this piece in. It goes right in here. I'm going to take this back off again. Yeah. Now I put this back on. There we go. That's better. This turns. Put that back on. Hey guys, this little orange cone here is the very last piece to do on this entire build. Unless you got the uh, the base, which I didn't get uh, because I just I just didn't like the the. I mean, it looks okay. I just didn't like how it covers the legs. All right, this is gonna go on the end here, and we're gonna glue it on and push it back on there. All right. And there's the Energen Axe all done. Look at that thing. How cool. Light. 
You have a flash. Let's turn the uh, light down a little bit. Here we go. Very cool. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to show you all the weapons first, and then we'll move over to the main event, Optimus Prime. So let's go ahead and get back up top. All right, guys, I know you can see him standing right there. Holy cow. That thing is so freaking heavy, man. You, you can pull your back lifting that up. But I remember seeing um, World of Wayne's video when he went to that uh, the show. And they brought it out, and there were two people picking it up and setting it on a thing. And I'm like, why do you need two people to pick that up? It's heavy. It's really, really heavy. I can't explain it to you, man. How that It's just massive. But all right, let's go ahead and get into the weapons. We're going to start with the Matrix of Leadership. Uh, here it is, right here. So he can hold it. If you display him, you're going to have him holding it like this, of course. All open and shining. Let's turn the light on on it so these pieces are magnetic on both sides. You just pop them off. Just going to turn that on. The only thing about this, this is the only one that you have to actually take the top off uh, and turn it on. So uh, there it is. You would display them, of course, like this, holding whoop, this way, holding the matrix. Look at that. How cool, man. That is just really cool. I love it. Look at it. Both sides. Really cool. Okay, let's turn the light back off again. You got to take the top off and uh, hit the switch to turn it off. Just remember that the switch is on the back. Okay, this would be the front with these two pieces. So the switch is in the back. So. All right, let's close that back up. I just, I kind of wish he was, uh, these would snap together and hold together they don't okay all right let's move on to the energy axe which is what we just got done building here it is very cool so he would hold it in his arm so you remove one of his hands and this would click in where the hand is and then he, you know then he would have his axe there and of course this turns so you can turn it any direction you want so that is how the axe would hook in and of course just push the button and you light the axe up. There you go. Now, with the lights off, it lights the whole thing up better. There you go. Lights it up better. And if you push it again, you get a flashing. Very cool. All right, so that is the Energen axe. Super cool. Look how big that thing. Like, seriously, that's like the size of a hatchet. Hey, okay, now we have his blaster. This thing is so cool. Look how big it is. Like, seriously, like the size of a pistol. Here's where the batteries go in back here. You open this up, and it's got two AAA batteries. Close that back up. All these pieces open. Like that. To show the inside. This part comes off to show the inside and this opens look at that oh my gosh the detail in this thing it's so phenomenal and this stuff's all magnetized so they just flip on like that and they stay on nothing's gonna fall off Look at that, man. And then you just push the magazine up and you get your blaster light there. Push it again and it dims, it pulsates. See it? How cool is that? Look at that. That's freaking awesome the way it pulsates. And then click it again to turn it off. Check that out. That's awesome. I absolutely love all of these. These were all a build on their own. So especially this one. This one took some time. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get over there. 
and meet Optimus Prime. guys here is optimus prime holy cow this thing is just absolutely amazing and again this this thing feels like it weighs 80 pounds this is not a toy for your kids to play with uh this thing would probably fall on them and hurt them all right let's uh open up the chest here here we go All right, you can push this button here, and you get the matrix. There you are. How cool is that? Friggin' awesome. Let's put his chest back together here. Yeah? There we go. Let's get his eyes here. Now his eyes will... Also, pulsate. Or they'll just flash. Flash faster. Or off. Or just on steady. Here's his headlights here, or the lights on the top. They're off, on, and then dimmer. All right, and then his toes down here, you can have them either flash like that, off, or just on steady like that. All right, man, just amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pose him with uh, some of his weapons now and let's see how that looks. All right, here he is with his blaster. I have it pulsating. You see, he holds it really well, it has like a you know, the little indentions in his hands, uh, so the gun goes into it, and then you can just bend his fingers around it. Looks fantastic. And then, uh, you can just turn it off, or have it just on solid. Very cool. Super cool. Love every bit of this. I can't tell you how amazing this is. Uh, just for size reference, guys, this is the uh, Diagostini slash Fan Home R2-D2 half scale. And look at the size side by side between Optimus Prime and R2-D2. So if you have R2-D2, you can get an idea of just how big this thing is. Again, it's almost three feet tall. All right, let's show a different weapon. All right, guys, here's the Energen Axe. I have it on his left arm because, man, I can't get that right hand out. It is in there very tight. So the right hand will stay in. I was afraid I was going to break it. Yes, yeah, so of course, this can turn however you want it. Just connects right into the end of his arm like that. Very cool. It's not really the way I would display him, but uh, cool to have anyways. Hey, again, you can move. This thing is fully articulating. Okay? And you can also, of course, do the axe flashing. And the axe looks a lot better in low light. All right, let's move on and show the Matrix. Okay, guys, that's about the best I could do with the Matrix. It's not the easiest thing to get his hands in there because they're very stiff, uh, which is good so they don't uh, get, you know, 
worn out and floppy, but there he is holding the Matrix in his hands. The Matrix itself is just really cool looking. Okay, time for a little music. Right, guys that was optimus prime holy cow this build has been absolutely amazing it what an epic build i've loved every minute of it uh this last pack was grueling though man this thing was massive and it went on and on uh and then doing the weapons like i said were like three extra builds on their own uh so yeah those those could have been another month each uh really for for each one of the weapons it could have been another three months on that uh but uh yeah i'm glad we got it all at one time i got it all built and i hope you guys loved it as much as i love it i think he's amazing he's huge he's heavy uh and he looks totally fantastic i i it's it's awesome i love everything about it I like how his eyes glow the feet you can get, make the toes flash uh the uh the matrix in his chest uh the the music i love all of it i'm leaving it all in i'll probably get a copyright strike but i don't care i want everybody to see exactly what he can do and so yeah appreciate it guys man i hope you guys love these videos i hope you liked this one this particular pack here was like i said a marathon really and uh yeah i, I put a lot of work into it so i hope you liked it so make sure you give the video a big like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo and this is Optimus Prime on Black and Red Bills. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs>